In this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my upcoming video series building time tracking sets using Django and Vue. The project we are going to build is going to be called Minutos. I want to show you a little demo of the product and then I want to tell you a little bit about the different parts and how I'm going to publish it. I can begin by showing you the front page. We have a simple menu, a few buttons and a link to the plans page. At the top we have a simple header and then we have a list of features for the project. At the bottom we have a link or button to get a free account. And we can also go to contact, privacy policy, terms of service and similar. If I go to plans, you can see that we can have different plans for the project. So we have the free, the basic, pro and if you need more you need to contact us. If I try to sign up you will see that we get a new header here and a simple sign up form with some Vue.js validation. So we validate on numeric and if it's 8 characters or longer. So if I start typing a letter you will see that one of the checks was removed and if I write more than 8 letters the other one also removes. But I already have an account so I can log in. Code with stein at gmail.com and then my password which is a little bit more secret and log in. And when I signed in now you will see that I get information about what I have done today, what I have done this month and track entries and what my team has done this month and I can also go back and forth in time so if I go to previous day you'll see that yesterday I worked 21 minutes yes I'm really lazy I can also go in to user for example John Doe and see what he has done previously I can go back and similar up here I get a list of projects where I can see what how much time has been registered on this project and how many open tasks there are. I can also add more projects. If I go into a project I'll see a list of to-dos and if there were any to done to-dos they was, would be listed out below here. I can add more tasks and I can add it to the project. And If I go into details I'll see the title, the status of the task, I can edit it and I can register more time. At the bottom here you can see the logged entries for the project and who logged it and the total time. If I go to my account here I can edit this where I can change my name, email address, avatar and similar and I can also log out here. At the bottom here I get a list of the teams I'm a member of. As you can see here I'm a team owner. The current team I own is Team Code with Stein. The current plan is basic. If I go into it, I'll see when I, my plan is going out and it's auto renewing. I can change this by going into change plan and I can cancel the current plan or I can start a new one which is the same as upgrade. And if I go back here again and go into the team, I can invite users and also have a list here of user who users or a member. At the bottom here you see a list of invited users and when I invited them. If I want to change the team I can do it down here. I can also delete it. If I don't want to register time for a certain project I can just tap start here and then the timer up here will start. And if I now go to the dashboard you will see that it was added here and it is zero hours and zero minutes but it's in progress. Perfect. If I click it, I can either discard it, add later, or add to a task. If I click add to task, I will set here. We need to cho choose the project, and then I use Vue.js to get these from the server, which are the tasks belonging to this project. Click it, and then I can either change this or accept the one minute, which is the minimum amount. So if I just submit this now, I will send it back to the dashboard. And I get the message up here saying the time was tracked. And now you can see what I've done today. Uh, I can also go down here, click discard to delete this, or I can add to task. Social media, same tasks, and you can see that this was many days ago. So if I submit it, it will not show here, but I need to go back to the previous month and it will show here in October. I'm going to split this project into 12 different parts. I'm going to publish three parts per week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. The 
text tag for this project will be Django and View, and I'm also going to use Pull My CSS for the design. If this sounds like an exciting project, please click like below, and if you have any questions, just leave me a comment and I'll answer it as soon as I can. I hope that you want to follow along, and if you want notification when the first part is published, you need to remember to subscribe to my channel, and also remember to click the bell. See you next time! Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link to my Patreon in the description below.